Hey everybody, it's me Tiffany and I'm back today with another braid out tutorial and I'm just going to be showing you how I put my braid out into an updo. Um, I actually did not redo it, I just um, kind of put my scarf on last night and laid on it so that's why it looks kind of crazy. But um, I'm just going to first start by just parting a bang which I've already done and um, the rest is going to go up in a French roll style with kind of a hump which I'm kind of trying to comb out a little bit right now so um, just one second while I get um, some products that I am using <coughs> and I'm gonna just be using my spray bottle again with my leave-in conditioner which is daily doctor with um, some water it's just a little mixture and I'm gonna spray that all over to saturate my hair and make sure um, it has some moisture. Um, I like to mix it with water because water is one of the best moisturizers for your hair. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to add some of my Dove Daily Moisture that I've been using every day. And it really has um, made a difference in my hair. It makes it really soft. And I just put enough to um, add a little bit of moisture to my hair. I don't want to put a whole bunch because this is, again, my last day for this style. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair after this. So now I'm going to start kind of finger combing it back a little bit to prepare it for the updo. And I'm gonna kind of make it like I'm putting it in a ponytail for the French roll. Okay, so um, now after I get my ponytail kind of smoothed back, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm really looking for a kind of messy French roll up to look instead of something that's you know kind of sleek and slick I just want it to be kind of messy and um, edgy a little bit but um, still you know nice and um, traditional looking I guess and so I'm just going to twist it into the French roll and pin it and I'm just tucking the hair in. I should have turned around so y'all could see this a little better. But what I'm doing is just rolling the hair and tucking it in so the inside of my hair are tucked like kind of into a pocket. And then I'm going to pin it. And because I want the top to kind of look like a hump, I don't really want to do a tight roll on the top. I'm just going to kind of push it back and pin this, pin the um, ends inside like a pocket, but not as tight as the bottom. And so, in total, I only used probably four or five pins to to do this look. Not a lot at all. It's very simple. I'm just making sure that the hump is the way that I like it. You can pull more hair out or you can push it down more. It just depends on your preference and how you how high um, you like your hump. And so I'm just going ahead and putting my bobby pins in and fixing it to my likings. And now I'm going to use my olive oil edge control serum and this is just I'm going to smooth down my edges a little and I'm showing you just the back how it looks my french roll and see it's not like super perfect but it is kind of you know <coughs> just right so I'm not going to put a lot of this on my edges I just want the kinds to, the part that looks really frizzy to be a little smoother and I'm going to brush that back one thing about the edge control, you do have to kind of brush it in so it doesn't have that shiny look to it. And I should have brushed mine in a little bit more, but you can brush it in more and it won't really have that 
real shiny look to it the more you brush it in or rub it in. This stuff works really good if you're doing like a, a smooth ponytail or any style where you want your edges to be smoothed back really good. It really is um, way better than using um, a gel. And it's non-alcohol based as well. So, And look how smooth it's making my edges. It looks like I permed it. And I'm just um, adding the smoothing um, serum edge, edge, edge smoother to the back edges and brushing that in as well. In this style, I like it because you can um, also add hair accessories if you would like. Like for instance, if I wanted to put a flower in or maybe a decorative brooch or bobby pin in my hair, it would really look cute. And I'm just pinning it to make sure um, the small pieces at the bottom are secure. <coughs> and then one more side that I'm just smoothing back with my serum. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is use this clip that I got. Um, it's called the Zing from Scrunchie, and it's really cute and um, simple kind of thing that you would stick it up to like I'm going to do. It has two cones on the side, and I showed this in my other video, but I'm just going to use it to secure my updo. And so I'm going to pull one comb um, on the left side and stick that in. And these are the results. This is the front with the bang, just a picture that I took. And this is the back, how it looks with the zing. And that's just the top, the hump. I was trying to show you how that looks. And that's the zing again. And that's going to be it. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye.